So you've completed making the model that you've been spending days on. And now you wish to transfer the fine details from your high poly model to a low poly model. And so you decide to bake the normals. You hit the button, wait for some time and get the normal map. You see that there is some artifacting. Perhaps you know what to do, but some may not. And for those who don't, this video is just for you. Hey guys, welcome back to Alpha CG. In this video, I'll be going through a comprehensive list of problems that you might face while you try to bake normals from your high poly model to your low poly model, or try to bake pump maps from your procedural texture onto your object. So let's jump right in. So uh, the first thing is that you need to make sure the face orientation is right. So by face orientation, I mean the uh, normal direction of each face on your object. The way you check this is by uh, going to the overlay tab and clicking on a face orientation. This will overlay a blue color on your object if all the faces are facing outwards. If there are faces that are facing inwards, the face will be overlaid with a red color. Uh, in case you have that kind of a situation where you have uh, red colored faces or red overlays on your faces, uh, then you'll have to tab into edit mode. Select all the faces by pressing A on your keyboard. Then you can press Alt N to bring up the pop-up for normals. So this menu has options like recalculate normals inside, recalculate normals outside, um, and flip normals. So what we are interested in is the recalculate normals outside. So this will flip the direction of the faces, or the direction of the normals of those faces uh, outside. And once you do that, you'll see that all the faces on your object are now overlaid in blue. And that's how you know that your uh, face orientation is correct. So now, once we have this done, the next thing that we'll have to check is uh, with regards to the cage, if you're using a cage, that is. So you need to make sure that the cage uh, does not overlap any part of the high poly or the low poly. You need to make sure that it encases both of them just right. Do not scale up the cage way too much. It should be just right. In order to scale up the cage, you cannot simply scale it up using S. You'll have to go into edit mode. And with all the faces selected, you can press Alt S to scale the cage along its normals. And this will make sure that the shape is not distorted by a huge amount. And uh, while scaling it along its normals, make sure that the option for merge vertices is turned off if that is turned on and the cage intersects at some point with itself then the merge vertices will merge those vertices that are very close and this will reduce the vertices uh, count as well as the face count and this will affect your normal because you need to ensure that the low poly and the cage have the same number of faces as well as vertices even if there's a difference of one vertex, the normal uh, bake will not work. It throws an error. So now we're done with the uh, mesh itself. And the next part is about UV unwrap. So this is moreover from a, a perspective of rendering or uh, what the audience will be shown. So if you don't want seams to be visible in your final renders, uh, you'll have to unwrap it on your own. Uh, because uh, the smart UV project, but, uh, although it gives results very quickly, it produces a large number of seams. And this affects curved surfaces uh, if uh, the edges are too jagged. Make sure the seams are the uh, seam that you mark for UV unwrapping are in positions where the audience will not be able to see it that easily. So, For example, if you're trying to bake normals from a cup, uh, it would be advisable to have seams within the cup's interior or uh, in the inner ring of the handle. That way, the audience is not actually seeing those seams and rather it's hidden by the shadows and other effects. Uh, try your very best to keep the UV into a single piece. So, keeping it in a single piece will once again help reduce seams. And the less seams you have, the more continuity in your mesh. Uh, right now, since you're baking normals, you wouldn't have that much of an effect on your uh, render. 
but when you're trying to put an image texture onto your object and you have to stick to the UV map that you prepared for your normal fake then you'll face difficulty because the uh, seams will be very evident when you put the uh, image texture on finally I'll be talking about the baking settings that I use uh, I generally keep it to 128 samples and use uh, two pixels for the margin uh, I just reduce the margin to a low value so two has been working fine but you can play around with those values uh, between one through four I would say uh, the margin will reduce artifacting on the edges that's it for this video thank you for watching hope you learned something new and hope this video was able to clear some of the problems that you were facing if i've missed out anything do leave a comment and i'll look into it and share my results with you once again thank you for watching subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and leave a like too thank you